Hello and um, welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving nonlinear simultaneous equations with one equation in the form x squared plus y squared equals a. Now these are simultaneous equations because we've got multiple equations with multiple variables x and y and we need to find a value of x and y which satisfies both equations and there might be more than one set of values of x and y which would work with both equations. And typically, when one of the equations is a quadratic equation, because it has squares in it, we're going to typically get two sets of solutions, so two pairs of x, y values. Now, we can't use something we've previously used called elimination, where we add or subtract the simultaneous equations. The reason is, is because one of these equations has an x squared in it, the other doesn't. So there's no way you could add or subtract the equations to make the x squared term disappear, or the y squared term disappear for that matter. So what we have to do is this. Step one is to rearrange the linear equation to make x or y the subject. And by the linear equation, I mean the equation without the squares in it. So this is the linear equation. And do we have to do anything here? Well, no, y is already the subject of this equation, so we don't need to do step one. But sometimes it won't be in that form. It might be, for example, we have x plus 3y equals 5, and then you choose to either make x or y the subject. And then secondly, substitute the linear equation into the quadratic one and solve. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to substitute the linear equation into the quadratic one, which is the second one with the squares in it. Now, think about it. If y is equal to 2x plus 4, that means I can replace this y here with 2x plus 4. We know that y is 2x plus 4, so I can replace that y in the quadratic equation with 2x plus 4. So let's do that. We've got x squared plus... We replace the y with 2x plus 4, but we're going to need to put in brackets because we're squaring the whole thing, and then equal to 5. So we want to solve this quadratic equation. We want to get it in the form like x squared plus something x plus something equals 0. So we want 0 on one side. So we should expand out this bracket first. Now I'm going to do it the quick way, but you could write out this bracket twice. Do you remember the quick way to expand our bracket squared when you have two things in it is you do the first thing squared. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then you do the product of the two things doubled. So 2x times 4 is 8x. Doubled is 16x. And then you do the second thing squared. So 4 squared is 16. So that's a nice quick way to expand out something squared if there's two things there. And we want to get 0 on one side. So we might as well minus 5 from both sides. So we then get minus 5 equals 0. So now I just need to tidy this up. x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. We've got the plus 16x. And then 16 minus 5 is plus 11 equals 0. And now we need to either factorise this equation or use the quadratic formula. Now I'm going to factorise it, but sometimes it's not factorizable, and you would have to use a quadratic formula. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through the full method for this. I'm going to use the quick sort of intelligent guessing way of factorising this. But if you've forgotten how to factorise these, where you have a number in front of the x squared, I do have a video which goes through the method in full on this. So I think we're going to have a 5x and an x. And the two numbers here must multiply to give 11. So I'm going to make this plus 11 and this plus 1. And then let's just check, we get 11x plus 5x, which would be 16x. So this is right. And then if we make each bracket 0, if 5x plus 11 was equal to 0, we get minus 11 fifths of this. Remember, you can just negate that number, so minus 11 over that number. So minus 11 over 5. And the other solution, minus that number, is minus 1. Now, we found the values of x which works as equation, but remember I said that we have an x and a y value that if we substituted the x and the y in, would satisfy these equations. So for each of these values of x, I need to find a value of y, just like with linear simultaneous equations. Now, I typically sub the value of x into the easier one, the linear equation. So all I need to do, I just do it on my calculator, substitute the minus 11 over 5 into this. So 2 times minus 11 fifths, and then add 4 and that gives you minus 2 fifths. And then for the other one, if we sub in minus 1 into it, minus 1 times by 2 plus by 4, and we get y is 2. Let's just check 
this pair of values, for example, with both equations, we can see that 2 is equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 4. That works. What about if we sub into the other equation? Does that work? So if I do x squared, so minus 1 squared is 1, plus y squared, so 2 squared is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5. It does work. So this pair of values works with both equations, and this pair of values works with both equations. So we've got the final solution.